unless you're inten- intending to get that effect, it's really not very good. And it's it's made even worse there where I've uh, sanded the uh, the ice effect to give a worn ice appearance. <laughs> Today we're going to be testing this unbranded UV curing resin that I picked up on eBay recently for £7 for 100 grams. To start with we're creating a test swatch using white, grey and black paint and I'm just showing you now all the paints that I'm going to test, paints and inks that is, that I'm going to test mixing in with the UV resin uh, to see what results we get really and see how good this is for water and ice effects. And uh, here's the uh, UV lamp that I'm going to be using to cure the stuff. Yeah, I'm using a, a mask just to, just to be on the safe side because this stuff does um, heat up and produce some fumes when it cures. So I'm creating um, two little blobs of resin for each of the coloured swatches. And I really want to see how, how the, uh, the paint reacts with the resin with different coloured backgrounds. There'll be a list of the paints and inks that I'm applying coming up on screen now so you can kind of refer to that. What I'm intending to do is mix a little bit in to the pool of resin on the left of each of the colour swatches and then a bit more thoroughly mix in a larger amount onto the pool of resin on the right hand side of each swatch. So you'll have all the different colours, inks and paints mixed in with the resin over a white, over a grey and over a black just so we can sort of see what difference uh, we get. I'm kind of expecting the, the greens to work better for kind of like a swampy river type water. Uh, what I'm really interested in is what results we get that might be applicable to kind of like a, um, a icy water because that's what I'm going to use this for myself. But I thought, you know, people out there might be interested to see what results we get. So now this is cured, we're just going to, I'm just going to basically like hold it up and we're going to see sort of what results we've got. Straight away you can see that lots of the inks and paints didn't really mix in very well with the resin um, and I think if you were to mix them in more vigorously um, you're going to get more of the kind of like splotchy effect. I mean straight away I'm looking at a couple of those greens there in the middle and they actually look pretty cool for like a murky um, kind of like algae filled water. And one thing we can see as well is the opaque paints the uh, towards the bottom of the swatches. Um, the blues there, uh, they, they mix in um, more opaquely I suppose, so the inks, the inks seem to separate more and the, uh, the, the paints kind of like mix in and uh, have a more uh, opaque finish. You can see lots of instances where the paint has created, mixing the painting has created some bubbles on the surface of the resin and you're going to get that if you're mixing resin vigorously, whether you're mixing stuff into it or not. But anyway, I'll kind of let you decide sort of what you think of these results. One thing I've noticed is, um, and you can see there as I turn the uh, swatch, not a very even surface, so you know, keep that in mind. So I want to produce kind of like an icy effect. So I'm going to do a test mixing together some of these blues and dark greens um, and then overlay the resin on top of that without mixing any paint into the resin and we'll sort of see what kind of result we get. I've got to do a shout out here to Goblin's Den Studio. They've got a YouTube channel with, at the time of me recording this video, only one video and it is um, a video making ice effect bases and I've taken a lot of inspiration from that video for this part of my video here and it's basically using paint underneath the resin to produce a, a nice sort of ice effect. Um, so what I'm doing on screen here is just mixing in some, um, some gradients and then we're basically going to pour the UV resin over the top and again the same as with the previous test we're just going to see what we get. kind of got you know one one patch there of the resin um, of the underlying paint going from dark to light and another going from light to dark you know just to see what result we get one thing I should mention is that I did cure this with the UV lamp and then I put it on the windowsill to kind of like more thoroughly cure 
Now I will mention that there definitely is some fumes that come off this, so I would recommend we wearing a respirator. I'm just sort of hitting that to show that it's gone hard, and you, I'm just going to sort of show you what results we get. Now ignore that bit there where there's some sort of like slightly more yellowed resin. That was a different resin that I was testing at the same time, and I got the um, the quantities of the two components mixed um, in the in the wrong ratio, so that's why it didn't really work very well. Just getting a bit of sandpaper, rubbing over the top of the resin again, just to sort of see see what we get. I was using some 1200 grit there, which is quite, um, you know, quite a fine grain. So just scratching over the top with my knife to see what we get, sort of reflecting it there in the light so you can sort of see the results. The idea being that it's meant to produce a, like a kind of like a, a worn icy look. But again, you know, this is just a test. I'm showing the whole process of this test and you can kind of see the results we're getting with this sort of cheapo UV resin. Um, you make your own decisions about whether it might work for a project that you've got. Here's a base that I've kind of moved on and sort of made up and added some snow effect as well. That bit that I'm pointing to, um, the reason why that looks completely out of place and won't be present when I produce these bases for my actual army is that I put some of the UV resin down and it wasn't enough. So I waited for it to set. I put some more on afterwards and you get that kind of like double layer, which is really, unless you're intent intending to get that effect, it's really not very good. And it's, it's made even worse there where I've uh, sanded the, uh, the ice effect to give a worn ice appearance. But yeah, this is kind of a prototype for my uh, Kings of War Northern Alliance multi-basing, which will be my next video out, kind of refining some of these tests that I've done with this UV resin. You know, if this video was useful, give us a like and a comment. Let us know if you've used some of this kind of uh, resin yourself, whether you've got better results, or you know, if there's any particular brand of resin or a particular approach that you would use to get ice bases in particular, let me know.